Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 2. We are in the underground EPA, well, this is the underground of the EPA base. And, um, yeah, it's beginning to get stranger and stranger. There are robots all around here, as you can see, lots of them. Uh, even these big ones, which are quite nasty, Sentry Bots Mark II. Um, which I've only seen in the Enclave and the Toxic Caves and such, so I don't know, this is quite interesting. Um, so I guess... Combat awaits. Well, we do have our plasma, um, pulse weapon here. Could use the, uh, 223 as well, if we need it for something. Um, but let's see if these ones will actually attack us on sight. So far, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. What's this? Can we do anything with the machine? This machine has something to do with the robot service. Oh, no. This one. Dead robot. No. Hmm. I, I probably can trigger an, an alarm or something. Oh, a laser pistol. Well, that's quite nice. I mean, not that we'll use it, but still. What's this? No. Can't use that. No. Can't use that computer. What about this? Oh! Some uh, rad axe and some mantids. Don't mind if I do. Why did they need that here, though? I mean, it's not like there's a lot of radiation or something on it. Yeah, okay, the alarm is not on. Well, that's a repair bot, Mark II. Huh. And these floating eye bots, which are quite cute. And then want to kill you. Now, this one is parading about. I'm not sure what's up with that. It might not like us here, so we'll see. Oh, this poor guy. Mm -hmm. He looks dead and sad. <coughs> what about science? Excuse me. <coughs> Nothing. You failed to learn anything, you stupid idiot. Hello. Mr. Handy Robot. Sob. Oh, he's crying. I want to die now. Why should I do it? Oh, everyone's gone. Oh, he's sad. Science. Let's see what's wrong with him. You cannot get there. Okay. Well, you failed to learn anything. Repair? Just stand in one area. Wait there. You cannot get there. Okay, so he's sad. Oh, there's actually an elevator here. What about these ones? Hmm, let's see where this goes. Ooh. Wow, this place is huge and they didn't have it in the game. You have entered the EPA sublevels. Bloody hell, what the hell is this place? Oh, what? No comment. These plants are killing all potential tourists. <laughs> We'd have more visitors if the grounds were cleaned. Oh, what? These are... Oh, holograms. Okay, I thought they were ghosts. I wanted to say, eh, hey, ghosts? <clears throat> what the hell is that? Fruit fly? I've never seen these enemies before. Bloody hell, new enemies. That's awesome. Um... This place looks... Wow, yeah. They weren't kidding when they said they were storing toxic material down here. Oh, very nice. Three stim packs. I wonder if this is actually radioactive. Or if it's just, you know, toxic. <clears throat> let's see, let's use the doors and kill them. <laughs> Why is this all red? A barrel. Containing thick, noxious red liquid. Oh, there we go. It's got red liquid. What? This one is attacking us, but not really? What's going on? What's this on the floor? No, no, that thing. Eggshell. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. We killed it. What a bizarre place. Hmm. Very slow. <laughs> the animations looks a bit silly. Good night. Oh, what a bizarre place. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. They don't have special death animations. Oh well. <clears throat> well. That's quite interesting. Um <laughs> No. Can we loot these? Yes, we can, apparently. But they have nothing! 
What's this? Goo. Lovely. Radioactive goo. Very lovely. So, I don't know. There's nothing else here. I guess we'll go back and see if we can do something else. <clears throat> right, there's a computer here as well. This place is enormous, then. I'm at- ooh! Hello, welcome to the environment- oh, this is just, you know, that thingy. Uh, the location finder, yeah. I wonder when I'm gonna trip the alarm, because I'm absolutely sure that we will trip the alarm at some point, and then have to, you know, fight with all these robots around here. Nuka-Cola! Ooh, you wonder if it still works. Let's see if it does. Let's use some money on it. And try those pop rocks with the nuka -Cola. You got a not-so-fresh bottle of Nuka-Cola. There we go. Excellent. Right. Let's save the game and try to explode, which we probably will. Oops, not 66, but 77. Alright, so... <clears throat> if we look at this... Where are they? There we go. Uh, it is rumored that when mixed with drinks like the Nuka-Cola, one's stomach would explode. Let's eat them. Okay. That does nothing, apparently. Um, some Nuka-Cola. Okay. Nothing happens. Did we eat them? I'm not sure. Use on. Oh. Oh, now we use them. And we're not exploding. Oh. I was hoping we would explode. That happens sometimes. <clears throat> oh, cookie! A chocolate chip cookie! Yum! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna reload though. A chocolate chip cookie. Let's eat that. Mm -mm, I love chocolate chip. You gained one maximum action point. What? That's only temporary, right? I'm sure that's only temporary. Yeah, you lost one now. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> Eating cookies gives you temporary action points. Right, let's. What, what's in these ones? Nuka Cola. I didn't have to waste my uh, one monies on it, whatever they're using. Jerky. Yeah, I'm gonna take that cookie. That's like uh, jets, except only giving one AP. Um, beer. I think that does not weigh, does it? It doesn't. Okay, excellent. What's in here? Ooh, more cookies. Yum, yum. Lovely. Right, let's uh, go in here. That's just... Toilets and urinals and such. I don't think there's anything of use here, no. Oh, this is the... Uh, this is a dead end here. Let's go this way. Alright, so we've explored that. Let's go through here. The power seems to be off. I wonder if I can uh, restore it. Oh, we can go over here as well. Wait, wait, wait. This is interesting that all these machines still work. <clears throat> Let's use the uh, computers. Oh, these are the same bloody computers that you can't use. But well, Data storage and maintenance. Select option. Run diagnostic check. Running check. Initiating. Compiling. Thank you for being patient during this procedure. Complete. Data storage running at 84% efficiency. Wiring fault on the, this computer's mainframe is causing magnetic coils to run at a high power. The resulting magnetic field could cause interference with other devices if not fixed. And check. Well, that is a very nice computer. Um, it's telling you everything, even, you know, if there's something wrong with the hardware. The magnetic coil problem has been fixed. You gain 100 experience. Got it. All right. Running check. Complete. <clears throat> Data storage running at 100% efficiency. Thank you and have a nice day. And check. Oh. Maybe that uh, changed something here with the... Oh, look! They've stopped talking? It appears they've stopped talk rambling like crazy. So maybe... That will enable me to access the files and see what's going on here. Or what went on here. Hmm. Very nice. Loads of robots. What the hell? This place is really high security. Some kind of a podium. Hello. Oh. Halt! Do not attempt to come any closer. Identify yourself, intruder. Um. 
I'm the chosen one of a royal. I'm exploring the EPA. Exploring? Exploring my EPA? How dare you have the audacity to break in here and just casually wander around? Vo what? Validiot. I have a half mind to arrest you and toss your ass in the uh, petting zoo. Give them freak shows a real feast. Arrest me? You're a hologram. You can't even touch me. I see. I got a goddamn Klugscheibe. What? Klugscheiße on my hands. You think I can't beat that piss out of a woman? What? Warm Dusche like you? Well, maybe I can't, but that's what the damn robots are for. Now I'm running out of patience real fast. You better start explaining yourself. How do I know you're not a Chinese spy? <clears throat> I guess you don't, but if you give me a chance to explain myself, I'm sure we can sort this whole mess out. So what if I am? Does it even matter? Your precious EPA isn't exactly relevant anymore. It's just another decaying relic of a lost age. Let me try to explain it. Go on then. Schwachkopf. Explain yourself. Make it good, though. Or I'll have the robots beat you and drag you down to the electric chair. Alright, first off, I'm not a Chinese spy. I'm what you might call a tribal. I've been chosen to embark on a perilous quest so that I might save my tribe from destruction. I only entered this complex in hope of scavenging something that could aid me in my quest. Fuck off! Seriously, you're, you're a hologram. The worst you can do is try and shout me to death, which you seem to be giving your best shot. As for those scrap heaps you call robots, I might be a little more intimidated if I saw any around here that actually work. Okay, so let's be nice. Scavenge? You pissnelke! How dare you discredit the name of the EPA in this way? Nobody so much as removes a piece of paper from this building without me I say so. However, to have entered this far into the EPA would require some skill. Perhaps I could find a use for you after all. Huh? Well, as you might have already have guessed, the robots no longer work here at the EPA. The computer consoles no longer register my verbal commands, and I don't have a body to activate the console. I, I can't properly secure anything. Could you fix the robot control uh, computer for me? I need the ability to command the robots for, well, for things. Well, why not? I'll see what I can do. Thanks. If you can repair the robot control computer, I'll grant you full access to the security wing on the red level. You can take what you like from the stores. I'm afraid we have no use for them now anyway. Um, this is bizarre. There is a low humming noise in the air like a magnetic field is somewhere nearby. Not only did he, um, you know, uh, say I'm a Chinese spy first and now he's suddenly giving me you know, an options to fiddle with his computers and then full access to, to the red level. Um, yeah, he's also a bloody hologram. What about these guys? This attractive female hologram greets you with a friendly smile. Hello, visitor, and welcome to the EPA. How may I help you? Lunch will be observed in the cafeteria at midday for all company employees. What? Oh, never mind. Who are you? Me? I'm Hologram 40011, the Director of Public Relations. I organize trips, tours and other things to ensure that the place is running smoothly for the public on a day-to-day -day basis. The tour of the EPA Museum will begin shortly. Please have your passes ready. Sounds like a riveting job. Goodbye. Hello there. Mind if I ask you how you managed to get in here? The elevators to the surface broke down a long time ago. Let's see, I used a rope to climb down an elevator shaft to the utility level, then I crawled through a fan duct and found myself in a robot maintenance area. I'm surprised you made it past those damn robot, uh, damn plants without being eaten. I'm Hologram 10031, the director of ground maintenance here at the APA. <sighs> I know, I know, the grounds look terrible, no need to tell me. If you're not happy with the way the grounds look, why don't you do something about it? If I could do something about it, trust me, I would. I've got no physical body and the damn robots won't respond to a word I say. I've been operating at 100% inefficiency for the last few decades. How pathetic is that? The other holograms won't let me forget it either. The, o uh, the only more useless than me is the director of operations. Maybe I could help somehow. Hey, if you're really willing to help, that'd be great. I'll ensure you get something for your troubles. Consider it done. What can I help you with? 
Those mutated spore plants have spread beyond the confines of the greenhouse and have taken root all over the EPA's grounds. If you could get rid of all those bastards for me, that'd be a big step in the right direction. That's easy enough. I already killed them all. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, 500 experience. For that, I hereby hire you as my assistant groundkeeper. He points to a key on the floor by his feet. I managed to coax one of their, uh, the half-working robots into bringing that for you. You now have authorization to access the storage shed. Thanks again. You pick up the key and pocket it. No problem, see you. Yeah, that's bizarre. These, um, these are like AIs or something. What's this guy? This measly looking hologram regards you with a nervous smile. Hello, welcome to the EPA. You may have noticed that we're experiencing some mild issues. But we'll cross that bridge once we come to it. Um, or you're already down the ravine, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, who are you? I'm the director of operations for the EPA. All right. You scratch your head. What does that actually mean? He chuckles uneasily. Why, I coordinate things. Get the ball rolling. Now, it's in your court. I like to bring out the best in people. Here at the EPA, that's what it's all about. Honesty, integrity. Thank you. We value your opinion. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I assure you that we are working diligently to resolve all issues. We had a bit of a downsizing, but things are looking up. I feel confident that all quotas will be achieved in due time. What quotas? You're not making any sense. Do you actually do anything here? Can you help me or not? That all depends on your outlook. My hands are tied on this matter, but I'd be delighted to assist you if you could. Forget it, bye. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's probably a nice little parody of all the bloody managers who always have stock replies to everything and all the bloody problems. Oh well, what an interesting place. We'll continue this next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.